They say there's a garbage patch. Twice the size of Texas. And what I have to say is go ahead. Make my day, bag monster. <laughs> Stop right there! Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> As a kid, like a lot of kids, I dreamed about exploring the ocean. I dreamed about being a marine biologist. Um, I had my childhood heroes, which were Jacques Cousteau, Evil Knievel, and Dr. J. And when those are your childhood heroes, the obvious conclusion is that you become a sea turtle biologist, which is what I've done. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to follow my childhood passion, my dream, and track turtles around the world. I love turtles, and I spend my time and my career following turtles and working to save them around the world, our beautiful ocean planet. Back in 1996, however, I tracked the first animal ever across an ocean. This was a turtle, a loggerhead turtle, in Baja California, Mexico. We named her Adelita after the daughter of the fisherman that helped us put the transmitter on her, and she swam off into the distance. And we were really excited to see where she would go. Lo and behold, she took off like a shot and swam 12,000 kilometers across the Pacific Ocean. Now, this was 1996. Nobody had ever tracked an animal across an ocean before. Amazing thing. It took her 368 days to reach Japan. We shared her track on the internet with people all over the world. Here's the bad news. She swam right through an area now commonly known as the garbage patch, Pacific garbage patch. I learned about the garbage patch in 1996 while Adelita was swimming through it. It got worse. I've traveled the world to sea turtle nesting beaches, and sometimes on those beaches what we find are piles of plastic. The turtles literally have to claw their way through the plastic to get to the sand. Now we need to rethink our plastic. We need to think from this philosophy of cradle to cradle. You make something, you're responsible. Design needs to be convenient and responsible. Right? That's the essence of cradle to cradle. Now, if you go into the supermarket, you find in every single aisle, mostly what they're selling is liquid wrapped in plastic. And the number one ingredient in most of the things in most of the supermarkets in the world is water. Okay? Then we take these bottles of basically water, and we truck them around in diesel vehicles. We put them in open-faced refrigerators powered by coal, and they sit there until you say, I'm thirsty. I want orange soda pop now. Right? What a ridiculous design. Absolutely ridiculous. You know why? One of the reasons is, at least in the US, water is one of the best distributed substances we have. You're never more than 10 steps from a, a, a water tap for your, almost your whole life. Think about that as you go through the day. Water is never far away. So we need to rethink our drinks. And what does that mean? That means we need to call it's called smart water, dumb water, because it's dumb, because it's in a plastic bottle and shipped around in diesel trucks and refrigerated until we get thirsty. There's nothing smart about that. We need to understand that ha happiness does not come in a bottle. We need to rethink happiness. Happiness comes from somewhere very, very different. So my challenge to the people who make stuff, the manufacturers of the world, is think carefully. Think more. Rethink what you're making. If you want to make stuff, think carefully about what you're going to make. Think about where it's going. Come up with a convenient, responsible design and employ it. And I'll tell you something. There is a network of people, mostly women, a lot of moms. They are ready to back you up. They are ready to buy what you're selling they're ready to do free marketing for what you've got. They're ready and waiting to catch that ball. It, it's an exciting time. You've got this global network of people who are completely activated. They want your product. So if you make things, this is your time. We live on a beautiful planet. Rethink our use of plastic. 
rethink it from the ground up, cradle to cradle. We need to rethink everything. This is our time.